All right, yo, check it out. There is so much out there. You can, I mean, I don't even got to say this. You know this. There, there are so many distractions out there and so much going on that you can easily get distracted and, and your, have your focus thrown off. So today I'm going to talk about how to focus your mind and achieve any goal that you want. And uh, welcome back to another video, my fellow goal getter. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to dominate life, make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything and we are getting started right now. Okay, so what we focus on, we get. We get whatever we focus on. The same is true for whatever we focus on, we feel. Like a bad memory. The, think of the worst memory that you got right now. You're going to feel the emotions tied to that memory. Just like with the song, whatever vibe that that song is putting out, you're going to feel it whenever you focus on it. Like if it's a sad and depressed and down low song, you're going to feel that way. If it's an upbeat, happy party song, whatever, you're going to feel that way. Um, the same is true when we think about the future. If we're worried about things that are going to happen in the future. Or if we're focusing on the things that we feel like we're missing out on, we're going to feel that. Whatever we focus on, we're going to get that and we're going to feel that. So the same is true for good things. When we focus on the future of the things that we want in our lives or and we focus on what would make us happy, we get more of those things in our lives. So it's key to focus on what we want, not what we don't want, to listen to music that makes us feel good, not music that makes us feel down. I mean, it's simple, but so many people don't do this. And um, you know, a prime example when I when I when I was working out, still am working out. But when I when I first got my personal trainer, I went for like three months of not making any progress because I was focusing on what I didn't want, the fat on my body that I was ashamed of having because I wasn't uh, living up to my own standards that I set for myself. And um, this went on for, for about three months. You know, I wasn't making any progress because I was so focused on that. Like I would stick to the diet plan, and then. I would fall off, you know, and I would do it for like three or four days, like roll with it, and then I go three or four, maybe five days of eating horrible. And it's because I, I, I didn't have the focus right. I was focusing on what I didn't want anymore in my body. I didn't want to be fat anymore. And that's why it wasn't going anywhere because that's what I was focused on. But when I shift the focus to what I did want, a muscular toned body, uh, six pack V waist, that's when I started making progress. That's now I'm starting to get those results because I'm focused on what I want instead of what I don't want. All right, so here's a really, really powerful concept. So in life, when we change our focus, oftentimes we don't we don't automatically start changing the direction right away. There's a, there's a small little lag time in between from like if we're heading in one direction in our lives and then we you know, change, you know, and, and we want to go a totally different way. There's often a lag time before we start moving in a direction. And it's very true and happens all the, all the time in life. Uh, like with my example that I just talked about earlier about losing weight. When I finally changed that focus on what I did want instead of what I didn't want, stop focusing on the fat that I didn't want and focus on the body that I wanted, I started moving in that direction, but it didn't happen instantly. I didn't start losing that weight instantly. There was a lag time, but then it started gaining momentum. And this is all the reason why we should direct and control our focus into what we don't want now because there's a lag time and it takes a minute for it to get going. So start focusing on what you want right now. You know, and, and it, it also affects, you know, not just us, but other people around us on, on how we how we focus on what we focus on. So for instance, if you're riding down the highway and are riding down the road, anywhere just riding and someone's like riding your tail, like all up on you. And are you focused on like, you know, hey, this person's an a-hole. You know, why are they, they on my tail? I want to, you know, put on the brakes or go slower, or piss them off or whatever, you know? Are you focused on that? Uh, who knows? Do, do you know what the real deal is? What happens if that person isn't trying to be an a-hole at all? What happens if that person is driving their pregnant wife that's that's in labor, that's going into labor right now, and he's trying to get his pregnant wife to the hospital, but you're focused on you know this person being an a-hole driver, now you're holding them up potentially. Like anything could happen. So we got to be really conscious about 
what we choose to focus on. And speaking of focus, real quick, if this is your first time here and or if you haven't downloaded my free Goal Getter Cheat Sheet yet, I highly encourage you to do so right now. This process is what I've developed after years from taking my life from being a drug addict and spending over five years in prison to transforming it and becoming a responsible father and successful entrepreneur. You can download it for free by simply clicking right here. Here's the power tip. If you don't if you remember anything from this video, this is what you're going to want to remember right here. The best, most effective way to control our focus is through the use of questions. So how, the brain, how our brain works, whenever you ask it a question, it has to answer it. It starts searching for the answer. Wouldn't you agree? See what I did there? you immediately went to answer that question, yes or no, whatever you said, you went to go and answer it. So ask yourself empowering questions. You know, we don't consciously, sometimes, a lot of times, we don't consciously decide what kind of questions we're asking ourselves, yet we're always asking ourselves questions throughout the day. You might not even realize it, but you might say a certain thing whenever something goes wrong. You might say, why does this always happen to me? And by asking that, your brain's gonna find out the, it's gonna find a way for it to always happen. Cause you're asking, why does this always happen to me? Oh, I don't know, because I do this, let me keep doing it. You know, but if you reframe that, if you uh, ask a different question and say, um, how can I turn this around? Or what's the next best thing I can do to reach A or B? What, you know, whatever it is. Reframe it in an empowering sense. How can I turn this around? That's much better than why do I always fail or why does this always happen to me? Ask yourself these empowering questions. Knowledge bomb! If you enjoyed this video and uh, you want to watch more videos that are going to help you make these awesome transformations in your life, be sure to check out this playlist right there. And um, if you know anybody that could benefit from hearing this message, I ask that you please share it with them because you never know what the right message for the right person at the right time, what that could do for them. I greatly appreciate you. Keep on crushing those goals. Keep dominating life. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And I will see you next time.